Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio. So glad that you're here. Today I'm walking you through a really cool new feature that's available in Adobe Express and that is the ability to add charts to your design. You can add charts like pie graphs, bar graphs and many more. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Here is a project I created in Adobe Express. This is the Donut Challenge, our favorite or I should say most popular donut in our household and I'm going to create a graph that represents our favorite donuts. Before I do that, just a little bit about the design here. All of these little donut shapes I used were pulled from the elements menu within Adobe Express. Over here on the left-hand side, you'll see elements. And from here, I just did type donut and I was able to find all these different donut shapes and you see here you have images i use icons and just change the color to white or in this case i also had some recommended colors to choose from we're going to go ahead and remove this so let's go ahead and add the chart here so we're going to go to elements on the left hand side where we just used our donut icons here but over here you'll see a charts option we have bar charts pie charts donut charts progress bars donuts half donuts and gauges i'm going to actually use a bar graph here so let me go ahead and choose view all now i could use the donut one but donut graph is very different and for this specific representation of information or data i want to use the bar graph so here we have the different types i think i'm going to go ahead and go with let's see this one down here and let's go ahead and we can resize this a bit here look at that very cool i want to make this fit maybe make my text a little bit smaller up here at the top there we go we're going to move this subtitle right down here so there's our graph and what you can see over here on the left hand side is all the different types of information item one item two three four you can add it more and i have these donuts that we decided to use we went with glaze so over here you have the option to change the name there so we've got glaze and i've got chocolate glaze so i'm just copying the information from my notes here and we'll go ahead and complete this so you can see it's just a matter of copy and paste you could also just type in the information and once you start making those adjustments you'll see the re changes reflected on the graph over here on the charts. I got one more to do here. And if you need another one, just use the add the new option or add another item. And there you have it. Now we did not eat that many donuts in the house. That would be way too many. And so we're going to go ahead and make some adjustments here. Instead of the value uh, being 300 we actually only had three so the, of the household of four we had three choose uh the glaze as either a first favorite or a second favorite that's what kind of what i did here for this graph uh chocolate glaze which was one of my favorites we had cake donuts we only had one person who liked that and then we had a sprinkle of one and then we had one cinnamon roll and there we have it now if you notice, it's kind of hard to see. Well, not 400. Oh, we need to delete this last one. Delete this row. Here we go. There we have it. Now you can see the reflection of change. So as I hover here, you'll see the numbers. And what you can do now, if you want to change the colors of the graphs, have a little more fun, you can click in here and you can choose it. Now this is following the color design of this project that I made, but you can go through and change it to whatever you want. Uh, let's go ahead for now. I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is, but I want to show you explore up here. If you notice where it says chart type. So I've already added my information. I've already added the values. And so if I go up here to chart type, you can adjust the way that those bars will look like. So you can round those corners or make them um, perfectly square. And you can see, you can make this wider, separate them furthermore. Uh, you can show the values on the top. You can have a grid line showing there. 
and you can also have labels here. But since it's not a lot of information, in this case, I probably won't use that. Uh, the legend is there, you can remove that, but I think for the sake of this, I will leave it. And then if you want to, you can view all the different types of bar graphs as well. I should say charts, you see there. So up here at the top, you have all the different ones you can choose from, finding the one. Let's just see what it looks like as a pie chart. There we go. And then we have the donut version there. I'm gonna go back to the bar graph here. I think it looks pretty good. Let's go back to the original one. I think I'll do that right there. Let's go back and change the spacing here and then make this a bit bigger. So I did a little bit of editing, resizing the donuts in my design. And also do let me know what is your favorite donut out of these five right here, or if you have a different one, let me know in the comments. And that's how easy it is to add charts like pie graphs and bar graphs into your projects using Adobe Express. So now it's your turn to give it a try. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to be notified for videos just like this one. And please do share this video with your friends. Thanks again for stopping by and watching this video. Until next time, have fun creating. Peace.